here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much. You are genuinely appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Uh, first off, a uh, huge shout out and a huge thank you to all of those that have been rocking with me. I appreciate your loyalty for waiting for the videos. I've been recovering from a bit of a cold, but I'm feeling a lot better now and I have my, my tea here with me. So uh, thank you all for um, just being there and your support. It is greatly appreciated. Okay, Virgos, as you can see, cards have already been shuffled and drawn, and I ain't wasting no time because it's been a, a little bit of a minute, okay? So remember, this is a general energy check-in. It's not going to resonate with all of you as there are a lot of you in the collective. Feel free to check your sun or moon rising or your sign in Venus, and that may help you to connect the dots, or your natal chart, that may help you to connect the dots as well. Also, there's a possibility that this is not your reading, and that's cool. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have a message for you at some point in time in the future. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. A huge thank you to all of those that have been keeping my ass busy with all these personal readings. Thank you. You are appreciated. Okay, so Virgo, as you can see, we have here caring connections in reverse. Mm-hmm. And I already feel the energy of somebody who's just, uh, Virgo, you don't want somebody. Mm -mm. You, you're done. You're done. You're done, done. We have caring connections in reverse clarified by six of swords. Mm -hmm. Two of cups in reverse and queen of swords in reverse appear swords here, Virgo. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so first off, uh, I'm going to show you something. See, if you hear, see here, it's 14, 4 plus 1 is 5. This talks about um, positive changes happening. Now, I feel like for some of you, you went through a change with someone and it was really a blessing in disguise. It may have been really, really sucky when it happened or really hurtful. Just something that you did not want to happen, but this was for the greater good. This was for your highest good, Virgo. This was a blessing in disguise. <clears throat> Excuse me. It looks like some of you decided to leave someone. Uh, some of you could have uh, directly like traveled away, moved away from someone. Someone kicked somebody out of their house. Mm -hmm. Yes. And somebody moved away from someone. Like you packed up your shit, you packed up your kids, and you left. Someone in this collective is pregnant and you left. You left the person that you're with. You, you don't want them. Mm -hmm. you would rather be single you would rather be a single parent than be with this person yeah someone is traveling overseas as well and that's to just get away from someone it's like you just you're done with that chapter of your life you're starting fresh and it is what it is mm -hmm. you moved away from someone Virgos because you saw the truth of something and like I said <coughs> excuse me you know, seeing the truth of what the situation was, it hurt you. Because that's not what you had hoped for. That's not what you had planned, right? Virgos, you're, you're big planners, right? Very meticulous. You're meticulous as fuck. So you like to know what's going to happen. You like things to be in order. That's just how you stay. So you stay, so you're done, right? So when you started to realize that you um, making plans with someone or what you had thought would happen wasn't happening, it really hurt you. But you know what? It, you start to see the truth, and that's what's the most important. Someone couldn't fool you anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, someone's effect was wearing off of you. Yeah, they couldn't, they couldn't trick you anymore. And you want to know what it is too, Virgos? You started to go within. Some of you may have started meditating. I feel like some of you just started listening to your intuition, which is absolutely awesome. It is your season now to really be tapped into your intuition. Mm -hmm. A lot of you, you have changed as well. You're not the same person that you used to be. You're not the same person you were last year or the year before. Some of you, you're not the same person you were six months ago, right? You're completely different. A lot of you, you um, you're learning how to heal your chakras. You're learning how to connect with yourself. You're learning how to connect with source. <coughs> 
And a lot of you are learning how to listen to yourself now. Listen to your intuition. It's your season. The beauty of this as well is because you are listening to yourself, you know what you want, Virgo. Yeah, you do. Right? I always say that this is my bad bitch, bad mama jamma car, chrome. You know what you want for yourself, right? And you are following the guidance of the universe. You are following, um, I'm seeing your own breadcrumbs, right? You're following your own path now. Mm -hmm. A lot of you too, you may be seeing um, angel numbers, repeating numbers, 1111. Some of you may be seeing 2-2, two, two, uh, repeating twos or repeating threes or repeating fours. Mm -hmm. And this is just the universe. This is your guides. This is your, your angels reaching out to you, speaking to you, letting you know that you're on the right path and you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for yourself. And that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Virgo, some of you too, you have um, an ancestor. Now, this could have been someone that you, you know or you don't know. Uh, someone that could have... Um, for some of you, this is somebody that died around you. You could have been close to this person, or if you weren't close to this person, this person held you in very high regard. They are now a part of your spirit team. Mm -hmm. They are one of your spirit guides, and they be watching your ass and making sure that people don't fuck with you. Mm -hmm. A lot of guidance you have, Virgos. So listen, uh, you going within, the, you, you're also getting uh, downloads, and you're getting, I'm hearing promptings from ancestors. For some of you, it's someone who's deceased. Someone has a brother, a brother or a mother that's deceased. And that they are one of your guides, right? And they have been uh, guiding you on your path, uh, helping you, putting, leaving breadcrumbs for you, letting you know who to allow into your life and who to tell to kick rocks. Mm -hmm. And you've been listening. Very good. Very, very good. But Virgos, you're in this energy in the past. You're in this energy of knowing what you want for yourself now and going for it and not asking anyone permission to live your life. Mm -mm. You're not time for that no more. Now, presently we have two cups in red bars. Now, some of you, yes, you were dealing with a soulmate, but it was a karmic soulmate, right? This person was to teach you a lesson and they did. You learned. Mm-hmm. But... <laughs> Some of you, this has to be, be with a friend, do with a friend or a family member. Uh, you don't fuck with this person anymore because they're bad-minded. Mm -hmm. And they didn't really check for you. No. They just wanted something from you. Some of you, Virgos, you were allowing yourself in the past to be used by people. Uh-huh. But uh, for those of you where this is a romantic situation with someone, yeah, you were dealing with a, a karmic soulmate. There was a connection there, but it's it was just for you to learn this lesson, to learn that you you a bad bitch, you a bad mama jamma. You don't need anyone's permission to be who you are. You don't need anyone's permission to live your life. You move forward on your own. Mm -hmm. You're very powerful. And it was be, it was after being with this person that you realized that they were supposed to teach you that they were supposed to really cement that within you. Mm -hmm. Someone from this collective, you need to stop biting your acrylics. Stop biting your acrylics. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they're nice too. But you, you need to deal with your anxiety. Mm-hmm. Someone keeps getting acrylic nails and then popping them off. Mm-hmm. Stop wasting your money, honey. Right? It's and it's anxiety. That's how you deal with your anxiety. You sit there, you pick your nails or you bite them. Mm-hmm. And it's, some of you, you may have noticed that when you're around this person, you start doing that more often. This person would bring anxiety. They would make you just feel fucked up inside. Yes? Some of you are perfect, perfectly fine, and you could, um, when you get around this person, you notice you start smoking more. Uh-huh. And when you're not around this person, you don't feel like you need to smoke as much. This person would bring out anxiety in you. Some of you panic attacks. It's just the energy of this person. You are dealing with someone who could be very jealous and possessive, possessive as well. But they, they never wanted to help you, Virgo. Some of you, you were with somebody who they didn't have any intentions, good intentions towards you. They didn't want to see you excel. They didn't want to see you push forward in life. They didn't want to see you make it. Mm -hmm. 
This person, they had no desire. It's like they didn't really have genuine love for you. It was all to get something from you mm -hmm. or to keep you in a, a keep you at a certain place, right? So that they could either control you or keep deceiving you. Mm -hmm. Some of you Virgos, you are in a relationship with someone who was using you for your brain because you're very smart and you're someone who's very organized, right? Um, you're Like I said, you're meticulous as fuck, Virgo. So when you want something, you can plan it out and get it done. Mm -hmm. You're learning how to be a master manifester. And this person would, would see that and they would get jealous. So they tried to keep you in this energy of being anxious, mm -hmm, doubting yourself, not knowing your worth, not loving yourself, not having confidence in yourself, mm -hmm, so that you would stay with their lame, tired ass. Mm -hmm. But Virgo, that didn't work. That backfired on them. Mm -hmm. You see what happens when you be bad-minded? Mm -hmm. Bad things happen to you. Now, Virgo, this person lost you. They lost someone who genuinely cared about them. Yes. And now you don't want them. You have no desire for this person. And that's on them. That's their problem. They caused this on themselves. Yeah. When I say you have no desire, you don't love this person anymore. There may have been a time where you had a great connection with this person and you felt this deep, intense connection. Not anymore. Some of you are looking at this person like, I don't know what the fuck I saw in you in the first place, right? You are not the one for me. Because Virgos, you found this person out. You see what they're about. Oh, yes. This person can't hide anything from you. No. <coughs> Excuse me. Virgo, we have here Queen of Swords in reverse. <laughs> oh, boy. If there's anything I know about Virgos, when they're done, you can kind of be like a Scorpio. When you're done with someone, you're done, eh? And you can get real bitchy. Or you can turn into super asshole. Oh, yes. But that's when someone fucks with you the wrong way. And this person fucked with you the wrong way. Because you are bitchy to this person. Mm -hmm. For my masculines, you're a super asshole to this. Like, no. This person cannot talk to you. They can't do... No. Mm -mm. For some of you, this person cheated on you. Mm -hmm. They crossed you in the wrong way. And it was to their own detriment. Because they are now dead to you. Mm -hmm. Some of you, when I say you're not dealing with them, you would have never, ever deal with this person on any type of level. You could have one child or ten child with this person. doesn't matter. Ten children, I mean. You, you won't, nothing. That's it. That's a wrap. Right? Because they fucked around one too many times. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you see that this person is very malicious. Mm -hmm. They could be very deceitful, yeah. For some of you, you realize that this person is a bad temper, yeah. And you weren't even in it. You're not in the mood, no. Some of you realize that this person is very narrow-minded. Mm -hmm. They only see things a certain way, and it's their way. Some of you were dealing with someone who was very, it's my way or the highway. You can't tell me nothing. I know everything already. You need to do what I tell you to do because I'm right. But this person doesn't know what the fuck they're doing with their life. They needed you, Virgo. Yeah. Someone was talking shit like, instead of just being real with you and just telling you how they felt, they would just beat around the bush or tell you stuff that wasn't even real. Someone in this collective was dealing with someone who was making it seem like they wanted to be in a certain type of relationship or they wanted to move to a certain level of commitment, but they weren't being honest with you because that's really not what they wanted. Virgo, some of you were dealing with someone who didn't know who they were, right? So they, they couldn't show you who they are because they didn't know. They couldn't tell you what they wanted because they didn't know for themselves, right? I also feel too, Virgos, in the near future, you're going to be realizing that it's best for you to stay away from this person and because you're, you're more able to be who you are when you're not with this person, right? Some of you, you may have found that when you're with this person, you would lose yourself, right? It's not about what you want or your goals, your aspirations anymore. It's all about this person and making sure that this person's okay and making sure this person's comfortable. And you're not doing that anymore. 
So I feel for in the future, a lot of you, you're going to continue to stay away from this person because you are really learning who you are as an individual. And you're not into losing yourself in anybody anymore. You don't, you really don't have time for that. A lot of you two Virgos, you, you are learning how to love yourself. You are learning how to be confident in yourself. You are learning how to hold yourself in high esteem. Mm -hmm. You are learning how to be more independent. You are learning how to follow your own dreams. And if you stay around this person, you're not going to do that. Right? A lot of you, you are transforming into emperor, empress energy. Right? You on your shit. So you're not going to have anybody around you like this. Also, Virgos, anybody that comes with this type of energy where they don't know what's a, what they're about, they don't know where they're going in life, you're not fucking with them. Because you don't have time for anybody to lead you astray. No. You have things to do. I just heard, um, I got a lot of living to do before I die, and I ain't got time to waste. I think it's a 50 cent song. Mm -hmm. You're not wasting time with people who don't know what they want in their life. No. You're not wasting time with people who don't have confidence in themselves, who don't have any direction, mm -hmm. who, who don't even love themselves. Because if they don't love themselves, they won't know how to love you. A lot of you Virgos, in the near future, you're bossing up. You're moving to a higher level. And it's a higher level of commitment with yourself. Absolutely. A lot of you, you may have started a business, or you are changing jobs, or you are changing a career, but you are managing your life like a boss, like an empress or emperor. There's no gender in terror, tarot. So you don't have time for people who want to come around and don't know what they're doing with their self. No, because it's going to throw you off your path. It's going to knock you off your course. And you're not wasting any more time on those things. No, you have things to do. You have plans for your life. So if anyone doesn't have plans, that's on them. You're gone. A lot of you too, you're going to be birthing new things. Some of you may be pregnant, like I said, or you are, oh, okay, some of you in this collective, you're pregnant, right? And you are just focusing on making sure that you, uh, you have planned out your life the way you want it to go, or you're laying that foundation to make sure that when your child is born, you're good, mind, body, and soul. So this person that you left behind, they're not adding to that. So you had to go. Mm-hmm. I just feel this very, um, I'm hearing astute energy with you, Virgos, where you know what you want, you're going after it, you're laying that foundation for yourself, and anybody that's not ready for the life that you're ready for, they can kick fucking rocks. And that's it. Mm -hmm. No more wasting time with people. I feel for, for you, Virgo, Virgos, it's actually a real turnoff for you to have people in that type of energy around you. Mm -hmm. Because you bossed up. You've really leveled up mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually. You've bossed up. Mm -hmm. So I feel like it's a natural progression of just as your energy raises, as your vibration rises and your frequency speeds up, if people can't keep up with you, that's a fidem problem, not yours. Mm -hmm. Like I said, you got a lot of living to do before you die and you ain't got time to waste. Some of you, you realize with this person, you will not be able to realize your full potential because this person was holding you back. Mm -hmm. And you're not even having that. Okay. Okay, Virgos, this is what I have for you. I'm going to pull one, um, a card of guidance and advice from Spirit. This is from the Whispers from Within Oracle deck. Spirit, what last words of guidance and advice do you have for the Virgo Collective? What last words of guidance and advice do you have for the Virgo Collective? Some of you are really dealing with someone who was very jealous and very possessive, but they were fucking lazy. And they, were, they weren't stable. They weren't good with money. They weren't good with life. Right? That's why you decided you didn't want to be with them anymore. Because they're, they're the hottest mess. Mm -hmm. And they weren't faithful either. Some of you were dealing with someone who was uh, cheating on you. Look at this. Spirit said, take action. Do the work to achieve your goal or to manifest your dream of reality. Virgo, didn't you just hear me say that? You are in bad bitch, bad mama jama mode. You're not asking people permission to live your life. And on top of that, you are transforming into emperor, empress energy. Okay? 
You are bossing up. You've leveled up. Spirit said to do the work to achieve your dreams and your goals, okay? This is about you. Spirit said to be persistent. Don't stop. Keep going no matter what. If you have to cut someone off to keep moving forward on your journey, then that's what the fuck you got to do. Take initiative on a project or a goal today. Like I said, some of you, you have, um, you're creating new jobs for yourself. You are giving yourself a promotion in life. Some of you, you are, um, you're looking for a new job or you're changing your career or you started a business. Spirit said to be persistent. Keep going. Take initiative and do what you have to do for yourself. Positive action is needed now to initiate positive change. Remember what I said here. You have 14. 1 plus 4 is 5. That's about positive change. Okay? I can't make this up, man. I can't make this up. So if you want positive things in your life, you have to take action to do those things. It's called getting into alignment. You want good things, you got to do good things. You got to be good with yourself. Spirit wants you to have the courage to speak up and to stand up for yourself. And I feel like this is just confirmation for you, Virgos, because I feel your energy. Like I said, it's very astute. You are letting people know what you want. You're letting people know what you don't want, right? And Spirit said to keep up the good work. Keep doing that. Keep standing for yourself. Keep speaking up for yourself because that's the only way you're going to get what you want. You have to be clear to the universe, right? And clear to others as well. Okay, Virgos, my dears, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool. Another time. So with that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. Uh, please take a look at the information in my description box. It is all here for you. I am always here for uh, personal readings. Once again, thank you all for those of you that have been booking me for readings. You are appreciated. So Virgos, take care of yourself. Keep bossing up, my loves. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.